Hello and welcome to Precon Decon, the video series where I deconstruct the pre-constructed decks of Magic the Gathering's history. This video we're going to look at the second Planeswalker deck from Ravnica Allegiance, uh, which is Domri City Smasher, which is a red and green deck. Let's take a look at the deck list. Uh, we've got 24 creatures, 4 sorceries, 4 instants, 1 artifact, 26 land, and of course a single Planeswalker, which is Domri. And we've got a mana curve off to the side there. Uh, it goes all the way up to 8. Um, that's going to be a problem as we see as we look at the deck. All right, let's take a look at Domri. Um, no character who's been, I think he's dead actually in the lore, thinking about it. Anyway, um, his original card, I should remember, in the um, uh, second time I went to Ravnica was pretty good from what I remember. Anyway, I'm <laughs> talking about previous versions of, of characters. Anyway, uh, Domri City Smasher. Uh, four a red and a green for four loyalty, which is not wonderful. We you know like them having five loyalty round here. Please, thank you. Um, but let's, uh, his abilities might make up for it. Uh, so his plus two is to give uh, all your creatures plus one, plus one, and haste and turn ten. That's actually not terrible, you know. Um, just uh, just the constant, like, board wipe, plus one, plus one. And haste as well, that can be good. Uh, sometimes you obviously cast a big creature. You know, you might, if you get up to six man with Domri, you've got a few things in here that are more expensive, so you drop them and then give them haste and a plus one, plus one, turn ten. That's okay. Um, a minus three, uh, where he deals three damage to any target. That's okay. Um, obviously you don't want to use that the, t the turn he comes and go down to one loyalty, but if you have to, um, I mean, it is any target, which is actually quite nice. Um, so there's that. Um, and then his minus eight is, uh, sort of very similar to a lot of kind of like green, uh, planeswalker, um, ultimates we've seen sort of in this series so far. Uh, put three plus one plus one counts on each creature you control, and they get trampled turn turn. Just make them really big and stompy for a turn. Like, it's pretty straightforward. We've seen that kind of effect a lot of times. I'm not saying it's not good, because obviously it is to make all your creatures super stompy and big. But, um, yeah, it's just it's just quite straightforward, isn't it? Um, and then his signature cards. Uh, so we've got two Domri's Nodorog. Uh, so three, a red and a green for a 5-2 with trample. Uh, when it ends the battlefield, search a library or graveyard for Domri, um, reveal it, and... Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing, the usual thing. Um, yeah, five two trample, which is, uh, you know, I'm I'm not happy about the two toughness because that makes it obviously very very fragile. But um, yeah, it's still like a big beefy creature. Um, I guess the easiest one to compare this to is uh Huatli's one, which was like a four four for five as well. Um, so this is slightly stronger, has got the trample but less toughness. I think it works out about the same, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean it's fine. Um, and then we've got three Charging Warbores, uh, one a red and a green for three, one with haste. Um, as long as you control the Domri Planeswalker, gets plus one, plus one, has trample, so it goes up to being a 4-2. Yeah, I mean, it's just another Planeswalker buddy card, isn't it? It's all right. At least it's got haste, um, so it can swing for three the turn you play it. Like, it could be worse. There's definitely worse ones, like um, the Vraska one we saw a couple of videos ago. That one is is truly dreadful. I think it's going to take a lot of beating for, for um, something to be worse than that. Um, and then the sort of the signature common four rage fires. Uh, so one red sorcery speed does three damage to target creature. I mean, obviously not one four. Nothing, not everything could be lightning strike. Actually, weirdly, I like this more than electrify, uh, which is sort of the other burn spell that's kind of around at the time, I suppose, because it was it was in the um the uh, it was in the M nineteen core set, and that's like double the cost at instant speed for the extra one point of damage. I think I actually prefer rage fire to electrify. Um, it's okay, isn't it? It's still, it's still two mana for three damage, which is fine. It can only hit creatures. That's fine. You've got big creatures to hit the opponent. It's fine. It's okay. It definitely could be worse. It's fine. <laughs> um, right, and then let's move on to the rest of the creatures here. So they're all, uh, not all of them, most of them are packing the new Gruul keyword, Riot, uh, which is really fun. I'm going to have fun talking about that. So, uh, two Clamour Shaman, two and a red for a 1-1 one, one with Riot. Uh, so Riot is, it ends the battlefield with your choice of either a plus one, plus one counter or haste. And my hot take is this was absolutely what Unleash should have been. Like, all the way back in Ravnica 2 with Rakdos when they had Unleash there, which was, you can have them come in with a plus one, plus one counter, but if they have a counter on them, they can't block. I would have loved for them to have riots, like this choice of either plus one, plus one or haste. Um, I think that, I think it's a really nice keyword, actually. Um, is it my favorite out of all the gruel keywords we've had? I think it is actually because um, bloodthirst was a bloodthirst blood rush, the one where you could discard them. Uh, yeah, that's blood rush, isn't it? Anyway, that was that was okay, like turning your creatures into into um, pump spells. I really like riot though. Um, that's really fun. Um, and then when clamor shamer attacks, target creature and opponent controls can't block the set. So it's either coming down as a one one 
with haste and something can't block this turn or it's a two you know it's a two two and you know you get this effect all the time i think it's like a pretty fun effect honestly right um again it's a nice um kind of like the addendum one cards we looked at with uh with in the last deck where it's kind of a bit of a skill test like with the addendum like oh do i cast it as an instant get to the smaller effect or do i cast it main phase um to get it at sorcery speed but the bigger effect it's just you know it's just a nice it's a nice skill test you know there's definitely situations where either could be useful, and I think that makes it interesting as a mechanic. Um, a single rampaging rend horn, uh, four and a green for a four four with riot, so it's either a five five or a four four with haste. Both of those are okay for five mana at common. Um, and a single wrecking beast, uh, five and double green for a six six with riot and trample. Again, so either a six six trample and haste or a seven seven trample. Again. Absolutely fine at seven mana for at um at common. Seven mana is is sort of tricky though, because uh there is there is just no ramp in this deck. Like you are you are casting this the hard way, I'm afraid. Uh and then we've got uh three Zertar goblins, uh red and green for a two two with riot, it's most like straightforward one. So it's either a three three for two or a two two haste. Yep, that's again perfectly fine. Uh three frenzied arynx, uh two red and green for a three three with riot and trample. Um, and you spend four a red and green to give it plus three plus naught to end turn. So yep, just pump up its power a bit more. Yeah, this is this is okay. Again, it being either a four four trample or a three three haste and trample before I think is pretty good. And if it sticks around, you've got this ability. Um, and then a single Bulrak Clan Crusher, a two a red and a green for a four four. Uh, you can tap remove a plus one plus one counter from a creature you control, uh, and it does two damage to any target, which is a really fun ability. Um, obviously it's there to interact with the right creatures, so I don't think you've got any other, or well, Domri's ultimate plus one plus one counts on things, doesn't it, I suppose. Um, actually there's a few non-creature spells in here that, um, that do plus one plus one counts as well. This is okay, this is okay. Um, how regularly you'd get that ability going off I think is, um, you yeah, know, maybe up for debate, but at least it's free, it doesn't require any, um, mana investment, it is then just, um, turning a plus one plus one counter into a shock. I think it's a pretty good ability, actually, and even then it's not a 4-4, four, four, um, that can swing, so yeah, and it's alright. Uh, so on the resin deck is Endray's Forerunners, uh, so five and triple green. Again, really hurts in the deck with, like, just no ramp, so there is no way you're getting this before turn eight, which is a real shame. But, uh, it's a 7-7 seven, seven with Vigilance, Trample, and Haste, and when it ends the battlefield, uh, other creatures you control get plus two, plus two in-game, Vigilance and Trample in turn. So this is, you know, just the big windmill slam this down on the table, make your whole board um, super big and smashy. Obviously, swing this, it's a 7-7 seven, seven anyway that can swing the turn you play it. Um, yeah, it's just a big, fun, dumb green creature. I think it's pretty, pretty fun. Just a bunch of really angry pigs. Uh, yeah, and yeah, pumps up everything else. Yeah, it's good. It's just very fun, I think. Uh, and then two gravel hide goblin, one in red for a two one, and spend three in a green to give it a plus two plus two turn turn. Sure, fine. <laughs> yeah, very straightforward. Um, and then two sylvan brush riders, two in a green for a three two, and it ends the battle field. You gain two life. Again, fine. A little bit of life gain is okay, I suppose, isn't it? Um, and then a couple of vanilla creatures, a uh, single Axe Bane Beast, which is three in a green for a three four, and two Feral Maka, which is one red for a two two. Again, both absolutely fine, but obviously just boring and easy first cuts if you were changing the deck. And then this is it for non creature spells. Uh, so we've got two Burn Brights, which is, I think it's it's not Trumpet Blast actually, no, because it can affect non attacking creatures, so you can use this um, on the defense as well, actually, so it is better than Trumpet Blast. Um, two in a red instant to give your creatures plus two plus naught to turn turn. It's still good, I still like it though. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I like Trumpet Blast, and this is a better version of it, so yeah, um, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty fun card just to. Three man to give you a whole board plus two plus naught is pretty good. Uh, and then two to stony strength, single green, uh, put a plus one plus one counter on type creature you control and untap that creature. One green, that's pretty good. Uh, plus one plus one counter, so a permanent boost. And then a surprise untap is always nice in the middle of combat. So yeah, I think that's pretty good as well. And then the other rare is Glass the Guild Pact. Um, so two mana, uh, multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus one. So it's nice and cheap. And uh, I checked it affects um, exactly half of the creatures in this deck because you've got 24 creatures, 12 of them are multicolored. Um, so yeah, I think it's an okay inclusion. I think there's probably better that could have been included. It seems like a bit weird to, to have it in here, but, you know, it's... <laughs> I mean, it's still fine. It's, I think it's a, a nice little card, like an Anthem effect, just for multi colored creatures. Yeah, I think it's all right. Um, and then four Gruul Guild Gates, which is the red-green guild gate, because you uh, comes in tapped because you're red or green. And then 11 Forests and 11 Mountains. Um, I say, just no ramp really hurts this deck, though, doesn't it? 
Uh, right, let's just quickly talk over what could have been. I mean, we whizzed through that pretty fast, I feel like, just because it was very straightforward. It's red, green, aggro, which actually we haven't had in a in a really good long while. So it was really nice and refreshing to talk about quite straightforward red, green, smashy face deck. So options we had here, um, Rhythm of the Wild, uh, one red and green for an enchantment. Uh, your creature spells can't be counted and your non-token creatures have riot. Um, so, I mean, oh. Do oh I don't know actually should have checked that first if um, multiple instances of riot stack so can creatures have have uh, riot did can have double riot I think they can I'm pretty sure they can because it's like um like flanking uh, flanking can stack so yeah I I would say riot can stack something can uh, double riot um, obviously there's no point choosing haste twice but yeah if I'm wrong correct me in the comments. Um, Grill Beastmaster I thought could be an option here as well. Three and a green for a riot creature, and when it attacks another creature you control gets plus X plus naught to end turn, where X is its power. That's okay, like it's just a constant free attack trigger effect. Uh, Gore Clan Wrecker, three and a red for a 2-2 with riot and menace, so like in a nice evasive creature with, with riot. So again, comes in 2-2 two, two with Menace, which you know, might be able to sneak through, or it's a, you know, then it's a 3-3 three, three with Menace, which again, is these are you know, both absolutely fine options. Um, Rubble Slinger as well. Actually, all these, I think, decks could have benefited from a um, one of these hybrid cards in here. Rubble Slinger, uh, 2 and a red green for a 2-3 Reach, because I don't think there's actually a real way of here dealing with any flyers. I don't think you've actually got anything with Reach off the top of my head, I don't think, um, other than you know, removal through like Rage Fire and stuff. So yeah, maybe something with Reach could have helped. And also it's a multicolored creature for a glass of the girl back. Uh Sunder Shaman, uh double red and double green for a five five. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. That on its own is okay, like four mana for a five five with that effect. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, um it does naturalize, which is pretty solid, I think. Um, and then another final option I thought here, Savage Smash, one a red and a green, type creature you uh, control gets plus two, plus two, and then it fights another creature. So it's prey upon mixed them along with a pump spell, which is which I think is perfectly okay. But yeah, actually looking at it, I didn't suggest any alternate res, so I guess there wasn't <laughs> anything that stood out to me as a as a good replacement for Glass of the Guild Pact, which you know, I think is still still a fine card to include. But yeah, that was it. That was Domri's. That was pretty straightforward, I think. Um, been a while since we've looked at a red-green, you know, just to say, like a normal kind of straightforward aggro deck. Um, let me know what you think about this one. If you have any thoughts or stories or comments, opinions about the deck or any of the cards in it, uh, what do you think of Riot as an ability? Do you like it? Um, stick a comment below. I'll give those a read as I usually do, but we're now done with Raptor Allegiance. So uh, in the next video, we're going to look at the War of the Spark Planeswalker decks. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching and listening and have a great day.